fairy tales? I certainly do, especially those ones in which the prince saves the princess and they live happily ever after. But have you ever wondered what would have happened if suddenly a second prince is introduced in the story? Well, I have, and the reason for this is because disruption of a second prince does not only happen in fairy tales, it also happens in real life, in what economists call markets or business games. A game is a strategic interaction among players in which the decision of one of the players depends on the decisions of the other players. Like for example, depending on what Prince 2 decides to do, Prince 1 will react to this and so on. Relationships, wars, business, pretty much everything around us is a game. And I like to go a little bit farther and I like to study what happens when major changes take place in these games. So welcome to my PhD research. I study business games or markets that have suffered major changes to the core of their stories. And I like to build accurate tools to measure the impact of these changes in the economy. So for example, the first market that I looked at is the New York City taxi cab market with over 15,000 players or taxi cab drivers. For 70 years, this market almost faced no changes. But in 2012, it faced two major shocks. First, the entrance of Uber, or the new prince. And second, a price hike. So I measure and I build a mathematical model that describes the interaction of these players with the consumers in this market. And then I apply to this model GPS and financial data of every single taxi cab ride in the past seven years. With around 500,000 taxi cab rides per day, this means that I ended up looking at around 1.3 billion taxi cab rides in total. By doing this, I found out that the main effect that these two changes had was on fraud. For example, I found out that after 2012, tourists that take uh, taxi cab rides are more likely to pay $11 million per year due to detours. That um, drivers that take a strategic locations, a strategic pickup locations such as LaGuardia Airport are more likely to commit fraud. That you, a consumer, are more likely to be taking one additional more mile due to, especially during the times of 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. But that the new search and match technology or Uber technology is decreasing fraud significantly. So I keep measuring effects in my quest to find accurate tools that will help us measure impact because there is no better way to predict tomorrow's economy than by looking at the markets that are changing today.